Yo, what's up everyone, Voskid Office is Valoramas. In today's DJ tutorial, I'm gonna discuss how to establish a gravity stand with projector. So what you see here to my left or your right is a gravity stand. The projector is not on top of the gravity stand, but this is a stand that comes in approximately two parts. So I'm first going to show you the parts. The first part is the actual pole here. So this pole, as you could probably hear, has a screw here this is the male end and the bottom is this heavy base plate which then has the hole in the center to insert the actual gravity stand cylinder through all you're going to do is simply set your base plate down where you plan to erect your projector and then with this screw here you're simply just going to insert this into the base plate and then thing locks in place. Now on the stand itself you also have this cylinder here which can then adjust the height of your projector. So you're projecting up and down and then you have these holes here to insert this cylinder to then lock this pole in place. I'm going to set on the lowest setting because for this demonstration with projector I'm going to display the projector and some of the monograms on my Valoramas backdrop right here but this is what you could use for your private DJ gigs. Now the next piece of your equipment here is gonna be the actual projector itself. So I'll leave a link in the description for this actual projector, but this is an Epson projector full HD with HDMI cable. And the model number is LCD projector model H836. And what you're gonna do is when you buy this piece of equipment, you will have this sort of spider contraption in the back and you have to insert the screws and screw this spider contraption here. This is what is going to connect an actual cylindrical device or another piece of equipment which will then go on top of this actual gravity stand. But this is very important. You have to screw this in and you need to get it just right in terms of, because your projector is going to rotate on top of this. So you want that to be just right. Now, other piece of equipment that you might want to buy is going to be this media player. And again, I'll leave a link in the description for this media player right here. But this media player is going to come with a USB cable and a 1-8 inch jack and then an HDMI to HDMI cable. And then what you will also want to buy, I have a 32 gigabyte small sand disk, small portable drive. It basically looks like the USB that you would insert for a little wireless mouse. But this comes in really handy because this, had, this is very versatile. You could use this for multiple ways as you go about your career as a private or public events DJ and producer. And that just simply stows or stores my monograms or my videos on this media player, connects into this little media player device, which then connects into the actual projector. And then, so this is like your little mini computer to connect to the projector. And then from here, oh, and this also has Velcro. So you can have this Velcro, stitch it on top, and then bam, this sits securely on top. So now the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to connect this projector to the actual gravity stand. So the next thing to do is to take this ProMaster cylindrical knob, which then has the, the other opposite end, which is going to connect on top of this. Now you could put this on first, but I would recommend against that. And I would simply screw this in to this spider contraption that you have on the bottom. And it might be easier if you actually put this thing down on a level surface, but I'll just do it right here in front of the video. With and all of these knobs right here tighten the device. So once you get the thing in place and the dra actual direction or angle that you want your projector, then you can simply tighten all these knobs. So now that you have this thing in place, now you can go ahead and you can place this knob on top of the actual gravity stand. So now it's on the gravity stand, you can simply tighten this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this projector a little bit away from 
my Valoramus backdrop, I'm going to lower this down and then I'm gonna angle an actual monogram directly at this and you can actually see how this projector works in action. So what you see on my Valoramus backdrop is the actual video screen. And then what you can do here is you can use your remote. You will receive a remote with this device and then you can use the arrow buttons to select the media that you have on your actual thumb drive or in my case, this SanDisk 32 gigabyte spare drive. Okay, so what you see here now is gonna be, I pressed USB on this driver here. And my USB in this case is actually connected directly to the actual projector. So if your USB, which is your spare drive, is connected directly to the projector, then you can observe these folders. And this was actually somewhat confusing. So if you have a question, just type a question in the comments. But I have various folders on here, which I can then go and I can click on, let's say I want to click on this album artwork. So this is album artwork for an upcoming track of mine. So now you can have this album artwork projected on an actual screen during a private event and you can display which, whatever picture you want here. Okay, so there you have it. So you have to experiment a little bit with the settings of not only your media player, but also your projector. But I've just showed you how to display an actual picture through a thumb drive connected to this projector and then onto an actual screen. So if you have any other thoughts, comments, or questions about this piece of equipment, then please leave those in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.